Hey everybody, Brett from Stardew's Gaming here, back with another episode of our 1257 Anno Domini Let's Play. So, uh, you may notice in the background there, there's a banner flying over Dungannon, and that is the uh, banner of Ulster. And uh, we'll run over there in a second and take a look at uh, the new Fingen McCarthy. Uh, he's not a perfect replica, he's as close as I could get, um, because uh, you can't exactly copy over the face gen data to a companion character. Um, you also can't, um, transfer over stats, although, um, that, that's not true if you're starting a new game, but in a, you know, a game that we've already started like this, you can't really do that. So, I did my best to replicate it as close as possible. Um, he is also debauched. I actually re-rolled the, um, the, uh, part where I made him a lord a few times just to see if I could get a different personality trait, but he is always debauched no matter what I do. So, uh, unfortunately, he's just going to be debauched like he was before. Um, <clears throat> so he's actually a little bit closer than I would have liked. Um, but we'll ride over there in a second and we'll take a look at him. Uh, however, I have gone ahead and given Sir Finn O'Shea uh, some new armor here. Uh, it actually doesn't look very good in this uh, party screen, but if you talk to him, you can actually see the detail in the armor and it looks a little bit better. You can actually see the chainmail in there. Um, and he's got the Kingdom of Ireland surcoat on over his armor since he's like our, you know, our personal guard. Um, but yeah, for, for whatever reason, the detail doesn't show up in this screen. And then um, Alasdair O'Kelly has uh, a new surcoat as well. Now this is over the top of a Gambeson because he's not a knight or anything yet. So um, <clears throat> he's just got a... Uh, a bit of mail, you know, coming off of his helmet over his neck, but the rest is just uh, quilted fabric. But he does have the O'Kelly uh, surcoat, so he'll, he's repping his colors. Uh, where'd he go? There he is. And uh, eventually, if he ever becomes a knight, we'll give him some uh, mail underneath his uh, surcoat there. Um, Mr. McCarthy still does not have, uh, what's it called? The, uh, <clears throat> the... Knights of St. Patrick heraldry yet. Uh, I do intend to make that for him and have him be uh, Maybe the founding knight in our knightly order, but that's something I'm still working on. Um, I have it sort of Mocked up, but I I haven't finished it yet, so I need to do that first uh, But anyways, not that much time has passed so I'm not sure what we should do today. Um, I just didn't want to skip a week because I know um, we missed last week because I was ill so, um, if anything, this will just be kind of a short check-in episode, just so you guys know what's going on and we don't miss another week. But, uh, we'll try to find something interesting to do. So here's Fingen McCarthy. I did my best to get his face as close to the original as possible. Um, I think his hair is a little bit less gray and some features might be different, but overall it's pretty close. And then, uh, he has the surcoat for, uh, you know, the county of Ulster as well. And that's something I'd eventually like to do, is um, have all four counties represented. Now that's going to be difficult because most of the land has already been distributed. But for example, if I could uh, eventually change um, Conchabar's heraldry, as well as the armor he's wearing, I could make it, you know, I think that's Kanak or Kanakt or something. Um, over here in this county, and then I believe this is the county of Cork. Um, this one's like half an eagle, half an, a sword arm or something. I don't recall what this one is. And then the county of Dublin here is um, just green with the Gaelic harp on it, so that wouldn't be too hard to replicate. But um, that's just something I'd like to do in the future. For now, I guess it's not that big a deal. Um, so let's go back to Wales and see what is happening over there. Uh, between episodes, while I was taking care of all this stuff, the um, the Kingdom of Bohemia raided our village over there. So uh, they may be prepping for an attack or something. I don't know, but uh, at the very least, we can go talk to our Welsh friends there and see about you know maybe recruiting that guy. Uh, oh, that's Domino, okay. Let's see, and there's Dermid. Where are you guys going? I don't know. 
I wonder if they... Are they still having that feast? Oh, they are. So maybe we can jump in there and uh, make some more money. There's a belligerent drunk. I was hoping for a ransom broker. Let's tell this guy off real quick. Yeah, be on your way. I don't want to have to kill you right now. Mercenary Spearman. Let's see. Let's uh, boost our guy's morale there. And is there a ransom broker here? There's somebody up there. There's actually two people tucked in there, I think. Or are you just wearing, like, two pairs of pants? Yeah, just two pairs of pants. All right. Um, sell all my prisoners. Oh, wow, 10,000. Nice. All right, well, um, let's, let's do the tournament again. And we'll do another one-on-one -on -one tournament. Uh, I'll bet the maximum amount on myself, and then we'll go fight. And let's see. Gotcha. Who was that? Oh, that was the king. Well, down he goes. Who's up next? Um, Mayor did. Okay, this is the guy who owns the town, the one we've been trying to re recruit. That doesn't mean I'm going to uh, throw this joust for him. He's going to have to beat me fair and square, and looks like he can't. Uh, and then here we have uh, Daffid, one of the other Welsh lords. I don't think these guys have lances, so it's not really a fair fight. Oh. The horse has gotten away. Let's uh, gain a little bit of distance for ourselves and try to hit him again. Uh, he's a little bit too quick on horseback there. Alright. Oh, that went right through him. can't believe you didn't count that. Uh, that was a little bit off. Alright, let's try this again. He's going to have to stop. And... Oh, I was a little bit off. I don't know what he intends to do with that spear, but it's not going to help him much. Alright, come on. Damn it. I need more space. The problem is he's like right on me. There we go. Okay, so with him down, uh, who do we have now? Ah, Sir Finn O'Shea with his new armor. Now, he does have a lance, so he is potentially dangerous, but uh, not dangerous enough. So down he goes. And then we have uh, Mr. Rosier. Probably soon to be Sir Rosier. But, uh, yeah. No chance there either. Um, this is Leon Senate, who uh, I don't I don't think anybody's close to defeating me at this point. But yeah, he doesn't have a horse, so I don't think he really has a chance. Um, and down he goes. That didn't really seem fair. Uh, this is probably the least fair. This is Benjamin Rose, who's an archer. So he's just going to be uh, taking pot shots at us the whole time. And actually, archers are kind of tough to deal with just because if he shoots me, you know, as I'm approaching, it lowers my lance. But obviously, he wasn't quick enough there. And so we win. Seven wins, no losses. Um, let's see how much we win from this. Uh, 5,000 is our initial prize and 2,000 from bets. I guess not that many people are keen on betting against me anymore. But we made 7,000 anyways, which is still a nice little bit of money to have. So into the feast, uh, let's talk to Daffid, who's right here. Um, we have a little bit of relation with him, but not much. He's not honorable. Uh, he has no quest for us, so I guess we'll just be on our way. Uh, Meredith is the one who, again, owns this town, uh, the one we're trying to recruit. We have 31 relation with him, and uh, I'd like to continue to build that. Unfortunately, he's got no quest for us either, and because people are here, we can't exactly try to recruit him again. It may be too soon as well. We'll find out. And then this is the Welsh king, who doesn't particularly like me. Um, he's not honorable, and there's the fact that I was able to recruit one of his lords out from under him. So he wasn't too keen on that, but, you know, I don't really care. At this point, he is an ineffectual king, and I don't think anybody really respects him. Except, apparently, Mare did, because he has refused to leave so far. Um, right, well, we've done just about all we came to do. You know what, let's go into the tavern real quick. And I'm gonna boost my relation with this place a little bit. 
So yeah, let's spend a thousand and that'll get us to zero and I'll do it. Uh, I guess I can't do it back to back. Um, but that'll get us to zero and then we'll talk to the guild master and maybe look at investing here. So what can we invest in here? What, what would be justified? Um, let's see, 50 profit is not very good. 81, not very good. 176 is not great either. 77, 133, 179. So far, I think that's the best. Uh, 408 is pretty good, but that's 10,000 down. Uh, I suppose that is more than double the next highest, though. Um, let's see, 22. And what do we got here? 92. Okay, I guess we'll put a thousand, or excuse me, 10,000 down on a Weavery and Die Works. That will net us around 400 a week. So it's not a terrible investment, but we've certainly had better. And they'll get to work on that. Again, this will eventually be ours one way or another, so I figure it's worth investing in it now. And with our investment, adventure in Wales kind of done here um, I guess what I'll do is I'll wait right here just a little bit to see if the uh, various lords leave Aberfra just so that I might have a chance to talk to Meredith of course if they don't then we're gonna have to go find something else to do and I suppose we will have to do that anyways I was just hoping that maybe we could chat with him one more time before we head back it doesn't look like this is going to end anytime soon, though. All right. Well, weekly budget is in. And it uh, looks like we made a small profit. So that's nice. Um, most of our money is being spent on my army. That makes sense. Uh, let's see. Rents from Dublin. Rents from Wexford. And rents from the Isle of Man. Especially the Isle of Man. Seem to be our main sources of income. Uh, interesting that the castles are actually making more money individually than the town is, even when you fold both of these together. That's actually not great. Also, have we not invested in any property in uh, Dublin yet? Maybe we should go do that. I thought we had, but maybe we haven't. Um, either way, we made about 2000 and that goes into our treasury. Uh, that's at about 25000 at this point. Um, I've also got, like, what, almost 80000 in our pockets. I should probably go deposit some of that. But, um, yeah, let's go back to Dublin. And we will look at investments if we haven't done that already. Maybe we have and it's just not built yet. I don't remember. Got a lot of Warband playthroughs going on, so it's difficult to remember what I've done where and when. Um, you know what, let's swing by our manor as well, although we did just check in on that, so I imagine nothing has really changed. Alright, let's uh, hop off the horse here. We'll run inside and see if they've made any progress on any of our um, farms. Let's see. Currently working on the marketplace, the monastery, and the walls. Oh, that's right, that we finished the farms last time, and these are the new ones that we queued up. The walls, very important because that's going to keep the bandits from, you know, settling in here. And, uh, of course, nothing gets done when they're set up in there. You have to go kill them, and then things will get moving again. Uh, the monastery will eventually let us recruit um, troops from various knightly orders, like Hospitaller Knights or Templars. Um, and then the marketplace will give us access to the Tier 3 buildings, which are the really lucrative ones, like the oil presses and things where uh, we can produce really, really valuable items and then uh, get paid in tribute, which we can then sell to towns and make more money. So uh, everything's going pretty well here. I don't think there's really anything for us to do until that's done, though. Let's see, tribute storage. Uh, I don't know why that stuff's there, but I'll take it and sell it. And let's see, nothing in the castle storage. So we'll be on our way. Let's head down to Dublin, where uh, we'll unload on that stuff we just grabbed and see about what's going on with the... Uh... Yeah, apparently we haven't built anything here. So we'll talk to the Guildmaster in a second. Let's unload this junk, because we have no use for it. Apparently nobody does. It's not worth much. 
Uh, so Guildmaster. Let's see. Let's look at buying some land. What do we got here? Profit of 170. It's actually not bad at all for um, the investment. It's actually pretty good for the investment, but um, I don't m mind investing more for a greater profit. That's not as good. Um, that is a lot of money for less or the same that we'd be making from the bread bakery. Uh, 92, that's terrible. Oil press, 145. Ironworks, 141. Wow. Huh. 327. That's actually disappointing. Um, one, oh wait, sorry, five. And... 62. Wow, I think the best investment here is the bakery. That's 170 for 1500 down. Now, obviously, this doesn't have potential to make a lot of money down the road, whereas if we were to invest the 10000 for the weavery and dye works, um, this could potentially increase. But... Hmm... I don't know. It just that's not a very good investment if that holds because I'd be making a little less than double what I'd be getting from the bakery, but I would be spending um like 8 or 9 times that amount. So hmm. Let me see here. Let's manage this town and we're currently building a prisoner tower. It'll be done in two weeks. I wonder if there's anything I can do to boost the prosperity here. Uh, let's see. Looks like a wretched, desolate place. So that's why the potential profits are so low. Um, yeah, I just don't... I'm not sure how to boost prosperity. I know how to do it in a, in a village. Hmm... Let's talk to the guildmaster again. Uh, do you have any work that needs doing? A wine delivery. To Bristol, actually. Bristol's not far. It's in England. Um, and uh, 430. I mean, I don't need the money, but I don't mind gaining some relation with this town. So I can do that. I actually go to Bristol fairly often because they have tournaments there. And that's how I was making money early on is fighting in tournaments in Bristol. Um, let's see, how is trade around here? Shortages of salt, wool, date fruit, furs, smoked fish, bread, and other commodities. Very little trade activity recently. Well, that's a shame. Well, if you guys know any good tips for building up the prosperity of towns, let me know in the comments. Um, again, I, I'm familiar with how to do it for villages, but I don't know if there's really a way to do it for towns. I guess, like, investing in things could help with that, but, um, you know, it, I'd rather wait and make better, I mean, I, I know that the, the profits will change even if the building's already built. My concern is I don't want to build one thing and then the town becomes prosperous and all of a sudden something else is significantly better. So I'd rather wait to decide until I can see the more realistic profits, but, um, at the same time, I might have to build something to boost the prosperity, so we'll see. Um, and again, I can't do anything with Waterford because Waterford's not mine yet. Although, um, there's a chance it might be up for assignment soon because I did just give away Duncannon, which had been kind of getting in the way. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I can build here? Messenger post or prisoner tower? I don't need either of those all that much, so I'm not going to concern myself with it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else we can really do. Um, let's actually go back and I'll see what I can give myself in terms of land. Because if I can finally give myself Waterford, that would be pretty useful. So let's head on in here and let's see, I want to check something. He is debauched, okay. Just making sure. Because I don't I don't remember if I checked uh, after the last time I made him a lord. I think I just kind of assumed because I gave up on it. So, let's see. Let's talk about affairs of state. 
Um, any ideas to strengthen our kingdom's unity? We have a quarrel between Aid O'Connor and uh, Merdid Ap Owen. Yeah, we can do that, because one of them is running around right outside the castle. Um, let's see. What else do we have here? So it looks like Sligo is the next one up, and I can't assign uh, myself anything other than Sligo until I hand that out. I don't know who I want to give it to, though. That is the issue. I don't know if there's anybody with us that I want to give it to at the moment. So that didn't get us very far, but it did give us a quest. Um, I guess we already had one. We need to go to Bristol, which is down here. Bristol and Chester, the ones I visit the most. So I swear I just saw his banner. Merited Ap Owen was uh, not too far from here. Maybe he went back to Wales. Let's talk to Murtaugh. He'll know where everybody is. Come on, man. Going the wrong way. You see me coming. Why are you running away? Oh, dude. Don't do this. Alright. Let's see. First of all, um, I need to know where some people are. Let's see. Uh, so, Aid O'Connor. Corfi Castle. I don't know where that is. Um, and where is the other guy? Is he at the bottom? Merited Ap Owen. Blarney Castle. Okay. So... What was that? Like, Kofi Castle? That's not in Ireland. I wonder if that is... Over here? I don't know. We'll look it up in just a second. But Blarney Castle is not too far from our current position. So let's ride on that way. We'll talk to Merdid first. Was that him? Yeah, it was him. He ran right by me. Come on, man. Don't make this hard. Okay. Here he is. Right. So, um, let's talk about your quarrel with Aid O'Connor. Um, let's see. Ooh, he's paying suit to Lady Shelag. Or Sheila. Uh, while also courting her. He's unworthy of her attentions. And I intend to teach him to keep his distance from her. So you want to marry her. Okay. Well, whatever your difference is, I'd like you to settle them. And he's going to defer to our judgment. And we will, of course, go talk to Ed O'Connor. Because fair is fair. So, uh, good luck to you. And good journeys. And now we got to figure out where the hell that other place was. So, uh, locations. Started with a C. Something, oh, Corfi Castle. That looks to be the one. Kingdom of England. Okay. So presumably not that far. Oh, perfect. Uh, right. Well, let's start heading in that direction. And we can stop by Bristol on the way there. All right. So we're coming up on Bristol here. And we will go ahead and unload that wine that we were supposed to deliver. Uh, let's see. I think we drop it off in the tavern, if I'm not mistaken. Go ahead and uh, boost our morale a bit while we're here. And here is your six units of wine, so we get our money. Again, didn't really care about the money, cared more about the relation with our town. Um, but it's always nice to get paid. So, um, the question now is where the hell is Aid O'Connor? Here's the castle where he was supposed to be near, but the thing is, he's obviously headed somewhere. And my assumption would be that if he's in this area... He was probably heading to go attack the Kingdom of Bohemia. Now, he could be anywhere in France at this point. So, I don't know that we'll catch him. Yeah. Um, I mean, we'll ride a little bit further east. But it's not like I can ask the English lords where he would be, and we're obviously very far from being able to ask any of our own lords. And we've made it all the way to Dover without seeing him. So I don't think we'll be able to find him. Um, let's swing by London real quick. wonder if they're having a feast or anything. Doesn't look like it. Any tournaments, though? No. All right, well, uh, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to find him then. So we might have to just wait until he comes back uh, home. Again, this is his castle, so he'll be in this area when he does return. And uh, I guess in the meantime, let's level up our troops and uh, 
Fallon Fitzgerald is leveled up as well, so we'll get him taken care of in a second. I actually meant to leave these pirates in a garrison somewhere, but that's okay. It's not immediately pressing. So, uh, what were we working on? I think we were working on intelligence. And then I will throw these two points into... Um, let's see. I'll probably go trainer four. And maybe surgery one. You know what? I'll go engineering. We don't have a dedicated engineer, really. So I think it would be helpful to add some points in there. Of course, I don't think we have a dedicated healer either. So that's another thing I could help out with. But, um, you know, being able to besiege stuff faster is something that would really help us. So I'll do that. And let's see, I think I'll put the points into throwing. And, uh, you know what, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, because I'm not really sure where we should go from this point. So uh, I'll try to play a little bit off camera. Just so that we can, uh, you know, move the calendar forward a little bit. And I will continue to um, bug our, our Welsh friend here about joining us. As frequently as I can to see if, you know, he will. If not, then, uh, of course, we are probably going to have to go to war with them to get them to join. And that's not something I really had any intention of doing, unless I had no other choice. Uh, but we may not have any other choice, so that's something we might have to do. Let's see, if he's here alone, we'll ask him right now. Uh, he's not, so I don't know where he is. But, um, yeah, I'll keep bugging him. If he joins us, then, of course, well, Wales will be, I think, gone as a faction, because they won't have any territory. Um, this will come with the guy that we recruit, as will these two attached villages. So, <clears throat> um, the Welsh King and that Daffid guy will have no territory. Therefore, I think they'll be sort of defeated by default. And, uh, Wales will be part of our kingdom. And then we'll see about maybe conquering Scotland and bringing them into a, like, greater Gaelic kingdom or something to that effect. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Anno Domini with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.